Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly. We're talking everything Agile here. Today we are doing another Jira app review and the app we're going to review today is called Scrumpy Planning Poker. To be honest, it's one of my favorite apps I lately found. I want to give them a shout out for sponsoring this video. Scrumpy Planning Poker allows you to do planning poker online right in your Jira instance, which is amazing. Uh, for those of you who don't know what planning poker is, it allows you to estimate your stories efficiently. Usually in traditional office space, you would have a spring planning meeting. Everybody would sit down around the table. They'll be all given cards with different numbers. And then uh, the moderator will say, okay, guys, what do you think? Um, how complex this story is, how much time it takes. Uh, give me a story, relative story points. They'll give you like two or five or eight and then uh, people would agree on what it is in a team whether taking the average or the highest one and then this is how you estimate it's harder to do when you have lots of remote workers if you have remote developers if you have remote designers they all on different places it's hard to give them all physical cards scrumpy planning poker do that i'm going to show you all about it it's very easy to use you can use it from mobile device you can use it from your browser so let's check it out. First of all, of course, let's see how can we set it up and how much it costs. So for that, we go to apps and we go to explore more apps. In the search bar, you can just type scrumpy. I'll put a link on top as well in the comments so you guys can check it out if you don't want to go for that process. Then scrumpy planning poker is here. It has lots of installs. It has good reviews. It is cloud fortified, which means it has uh, cloud security participation. It has frequent reliability checks and it has 20 hour uh, support response time. So if you have any issue, they will respond to you in 24 hours and help you out. Let's click on the landing page. So here's the landing page. You can watch a video about it. You can uh, watch all the promotional material here, but we will talk about most of it. So you don't have to worry about that before we do. Let's talk about pricing. Here's a pricing page. As always, up to 10 users, it is completely free. If you have a big team, let's say 100 users, it costs you $100. So $1 per user. And I think for this app, it's actually a really great deal. Uh, as you said, has lots of installs, 1,148, which I always look for. Cloud Fortified, as I already talked a bunch of reviews. So it is a really good app. Uh, I play with it and I love it. So let me show you how it works. Once you clicked on try free trial, which I actually did already. So it has a free trial. Um, and then you can click on apps and you can click on planning poker, but there's another way to do it. Let me show you that you can click on your projects. You can go to your project, let's say define agile YouTube videos. And every project has their own planning poker room. And the first person who creates this room, who goes into it, becomes a moderator. There is an administration settings to limit to certain people become moderators. But by default, if I click on planning poker right now, I will be a moderator because I'm the first one. So let's do that. Here we go, we joined the room. I'm gonna turn off certain things for now. So we have, we can focus on the overview of the main UI first. Uh, what I love about it, that they made it look really fun with uh, cool images. And then they have those labels. This is low hanging fruit, piece of cake. So they made it really fun. It ain't a rocket science is my favorite. There's a lot of customization here, but essentially you have the search for your Jira issues you want to include. Then you have your cards. Then you have your timer um, for how long are you allowing people to vote. Then you have amount of users right now, just me, but I'll show you how other users can join as well. You have stories to refine when you add them, they appear here. You have chat so you can chat with your participants um, and that's about it. And then if you want to customize it all, there are a bunch of customizations. And of course, a very important buttons, you can generate QR code for mobile users. You click on it. And if you're on mobile, you can show it, send this QR code, let's say on your Slack channel or show it in your Zoom video. People can just go and join it through this, very useful. Or you can uh, share a link 
So people can copy link in Jira if they're Jira users. If they are a Salesforce organization, they can copy link or you can email them link as well. So lots of options for you here. Then they have lots of settings. So let's say I like Fibonacci numbers. I don't usually use zeros. I use different scale. It allows you to set it all up. So you click on settings and there are lots and lots of settings. We're not going to go through all of them, but I'm going to show just some of them. Uh, you can sh it shows your name right now taken from Jira. But if you're joining outside, you can select your name. You can select theme, which I wish Jira would do. They allow you to do dark theme as well. They like you. They allow you to do presets so you can download what you set up here and then upload it into new room, not to do it all all over again. And then room name is your project, your sorry, your board. And then you can select the room description if you want. If you have video, let's say you want everybody to be in a Zoom link, you can put it here. It's easily accessible. And there are lots and lots of other ones protected with a password. You can select uh, when it starts your session, how long does your session take, change the timer of how long they can uh, vote for. You can also do asynchronous vote where people can vote, let's say, during the day if they or 24 hours, let's say, if they all are remote. So you can do a whole bunch of things, high average vote, lots and lots of things. So for me, one of the most important is cards. Cards allow me to set up different uh, naming sequences. I use Fibonacci sequence, but you can also use from one to 10. You can use fingers, you can use dice, t-shirt sizing. So it allows you to do all those kind of things. I uh, let's like Fibonacci, Fibonacci, I'm sorry, don't know how to pronounce that. And then I don't usually use big numbers. So it also allows you to select what do you allow. Usually in my teams, we try to have stories as small as possible. So for us, the biggest one will be 21. Here we go. And then you can map them to time, which I don't really recommend, but some teams say, I don't know, four story points is four hours. So if you do that, it allows you to, uh, instead of selecting story points, it will put them into the time estimate. Then you can use free scale, which will be just a scale. You can select any number you want. Um, you can put numeric labels, a bunch of things. And then you can boot, actually, this is a pretty cool thing. So I'll show you how to use that. Um, you can disable any of those fields. Let's say disable two of them, but enable step to reproduce, which will be plain text. I'm going to show you that in a second. You can display any extra other fields for the story. Let's say I want to see what I want to see. Assignee. If there's assignee there, I want to see that. Then there's Jira estimate field. So if you want to have a custom estimate field and also Jira t-shirt estimate field, which it can be a string. So this one can be only a number. Other one can be a string. So it's very customizable, which I love, but I tried to do it as simple as possible for me, Fibonacci sequence, 1 to 21, and we're all good. So once I selected this, I have my 1 to 21, and it's all here. Then if I want to see who is in my room, I see it here. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is this collaboration view. Uh, before I do all of this, let's add some stories because I think that's one of the most important thing. It allows you to add stories by name. So if I know that I want to add DAV uh, 2, it will allow me to add DAV 2. I can just click on it. And you can see it appears right here. It also already shows as you estimated before. It shows what was the estimate, which is pretty cool. Or you can use uh, JQL. So you can say project equals DAV. And then allows you to pull any stories from DAV. And you can use your custom filters as well. You can do all kinds of things. So let me add a couple stories here. Some of them are already estimated, some are not. So let's say those are already estimated. I don't want to estimate that again. Just click on X. Just click on X. And then you can also change the sequence, how you want to estimate that. Another cool thing is create perspectives, which is more advanced, but it allows you instead of estimating vertically, 
so let's say DAV58 will be first and then we'll estimate DAV54 you can create a perspective for let's say developers estimate first and then business analysts estimate second and then this DAV58 will move from developer estimation then will move and you estimate it again as a business analysts again this is definitely more advanced um, we're not going to go into this I'm going to just show you the typical scrum development team estimation but know that you can do it as well um, I think we have two stories now and we are ready to invite some people and start estimating I'll show you how that works so let's have a link let's copy that link and I will uh, put that link into my second browser to show you how we can estimate so I will be estimating for two people today let me show you how it works so I just open a second browser let's say I'm another user I went to that link and it says architect and cool thing is I don't have to be a Jira user to do it I can do it from anywhere from my phone as well if I use QR code but I'll do it here uh, to show you guys so the name is architect I can have my gravatar I can change my name of course the room it doesn't prefill because well there's only one room there that I'm invited to captcha so bots are not using it and then I, if I click poker now it says waiting for the moderator and then because I joined this room first I'm the moderator I can just accept this person to estimate it says request to join accept architect and then architects accept that if I go to participants panel I see I'm a moderator and then I have an architect and then I see in the architect view uh, second user view that I also have the same thing we can chat if we want hello nice to see you so put in the chat and then there's this signal and we can chat which is very nice so there are multiple ways to do it let's say you're on a zoom call and just people joining or it's completely remote and then you'll use chat to talk to each other independent of time but right now it's a live session we're estimating one by one and as a moderator I choose a story I say let's estimate DAV and then if I just click play we start estimating so click play and voting has started you can allow moderator to vote or not to vote but let's say this time moderator votes I vote as a two and let's say architect votes as a three so now in my architect view I see that two people voted and as soon as it finished it gives me the result of voting so I see that one person voted as uh, two one person voted as free the really cool thing is I can also go to similar tickets so we'll find what other tickets in the project would estimate it this way and we can review it and see okay so is this as complex as UI page is it as complex as your tutorial how to change workflow so this is a really good one allows us to see what are similar tickets estimated this way so here we are the average 2.5 um, so we're accepting free as an estimate and if we decided okay no we don't want it to have free we want to have two so we can go find two and then we can uh, accept it or if we want to do it again we can restart the voting let's say we discussed and there's something else here so we just can go and discard voting and do it again but I'm going to accept this one I'm going to click on it and voting has been finalized and now this issue is estimated for the second one I want to show you the collaboration window so we have a description here but also remember I wanted to add steps to reproduce which actually adds another text to a description so we can click and let's say as, as we estimate in our team we always wanted to add steps to reproduce say we estimate bugs or uh, we have some other acceptance criteria let's say or something like that we can always add it here 
and then once we walk through it we can update the description we can update steps to reproduce and all of this will be saved into jira which i think is a really cool way to do it to be honest because usually then you have to go back to the story find description then do all this over and over again so it's pretty complicated but this way it allows us to do it pretty easily for a second one let's try another way of estimation let's say you want to estimate um, 1 to 100 so we can do settings we go to carts we select uh, tens and then we can select as many of them as we want So every story we can estimate differently if we really want to. And also we can use presets. Uh, so if we have something preset that we saved before, uh, we can just quickly go to the preset and use that preset to estimate. So if I go to my second user, I see it automatically updated, which is pretty cool. I can also see all the collaboration we're doing here as well. So very intuitive. Let's say we want to estimate this one as a moderator. I go, I click on it, and then I click play. So the voting has started. Let's say I think it's 100. And the second user thinks it's 40. So we both voted. As soon as the timer ends, we're going to have a pop-up again. And then we're going to see how we vote. So we vote it, it takes an average of 70, and then we can decide, is that something we want to do? 70 is correct? Yeah, probably correct. So we can just go, save it, and here we go. It has been finalized. Then when we are done estimating, we can just say complete now. So it says session time is over. In case somebody is misbehaving, you want to kick them out, you can click on them, click kick out, and they won't be there anymore. So. Uh, but let's look at those issues. Where did those numbers were put in the Jira tickets? So let me find one of those issues that I remember. It was DAV-58. I go to it and see story points were updated with two. So there are also two more buttons, micro poker and mini poker. Uh, both of them allow you to schedule this issue for estimation right from here. You click on micro poker. You can click on poker now and you can send it right there or you can schedule now and estimate it. You can also do that with uh, mini poker as well. Um, I need to switch room to do that, but again, allows you to estimate right from here as long as you are uh, running your planning poker room. So that's it for review, guys. Cool tool allows you to convert mundane estimation process into something fun and easy. Uh, highly recommend. I love it. I'm going to be using it with my teams from now on. I'll put a, a link to it on top in the description. Thanks again for Scrumpy Planning Poker team for sponsoring this video. And I'll talk to you next one. Bye bye.